So, you guys seen my builds I put up. Four negates, five negates, six negates, hand trap, no problem. But that's the issue right there. Too many people say, Triff, you didn't even get hand trap. You still put up six negates. Why would you get hand trap? Oh, your deck loses to one ghost ogre. Well, no. Normal pendulum decks used to one ghost ogre. Mine does not. We played 24 hand trap. Uh, 20, 24 hand traps. We played 24 turbo cards. What, another one here. Oh, you played Dragon Defeat? Ash, <laughs> you lose. But no. The thing with this deck is because you play so many cards like Ravine, you could add a contract, and this is a DDD version. I'm going to be showcasing you guys how Pendulum played through hand traps. Specifically, the one hand trap that gets played the most. Ash Blossom. With DDs. So, the reason why I play DDs, there's so much utility in them. You get a free Lamia. You get so many free plus cards. And they're the best Ash bait known to mankind. So this video, I'm going to showcase to you guys how to play through Ash. And through three random hands in a row with zero edits. I don't care if I brick. I don't care if I literally draw fo like two Fog Blades, three contracts. I don't care what I draw. I'm going to showcase to you guys the good and the bad. With Brown Jesus cutting it for you guys. And Jesse Cotton live watching what might just be the greatest deck ever made in the history of decks. So cutting as you see, Jesus powers. I have to actually like blessing it Toronto Shore power right there. With Brown Jesus. As we get, bro, how many negates am I gonna put up through an Ash? Like forty. Forty. The same amount of girls we get every single Saturday. Triff nice. math. Triff math right there. Times zero. Coming soon to Times near, near. Bro, two. we're not. So, you guys want to hear about this bet that I how I lost twenty dollars with someone called Sosa? <laughs> we'll save that for another video. But the guy lost me twenty bucks. Anyways, so you lost yourself twenty bucks. <laughs> Okay, we're saying the bet now. We're saying the bet now. Okay? So the bet was this. Alright, you fucking They disrespected my friend Sosa. Yo, Sosa, I'm putting you on blast on YouTube. Okay. So long story short, Sosa's my boy. People kept roasting him saying he can't get a girl. So I said that's false. Sosa can most definitely get a girl. And I'm gonna prove that wrong tonight. Me and Sosa are gonna go outside right now and get a girl's number and show it to you guys. Boom. And then they said, oh yeah, 10 bucks. Two different people bet $10. And me and Sosa, can't. one of them's here though, they're both over there. You? That, you bet $10? That $10, $10 okay. that $10 not me. That, that it wasn't me. It was that, that Sosa cannot get a girl's number. So I said, challenge accepted. <laughs> me and Sosa are going to go bring back not just two girls' numbers, but their bra as well. So that was the game plan. So we went out of there, stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh! for the night, and decided to get some girls' numbers. One and a half hours later, 15 girls later, a Latin dance party later, sneaking into movies later, four bars later, and we come back with zero numbers. <laughs> now, we did not like we didn't ask the girls. Oh, we, we literally somehow managed to find married, 15 married girls, okay? Girls are coming, girls that I'd say, hey, we're married, showing us the ring. Girl, we, saw, so we saw pictures of their kid children. We saw pictures of their children. We saw this, we saw that. And then even the worst one. There was two girls sitting behind us. We're going to get into this video right away after this story. There was two girls behind us. We're sitting at a bar. Uh, Jackass is just at a bar. Uh, me, Sosa, and one of my friends, Tyler. I told Tyler, yo, I'm going to hit these girls behind us with the funniest pickup line, so get the camera out. So I wanted to tell some funny joke like, hey, I'm Purple Poison, what's your name? Or some shit, some stupid shit. Or like, hey, want to see the pendulum in between my legs? Or some funny shit, just for jokes. And they're literally one, like half a meter away from us. They're that close. So I go up to them. The second I go up to them, they're smiling. So I'm like, Yo, you know what? I'm not gonna, in a millisecond in my, in my triff brain, I said, okay, I'm not going to say stupid line. I'm just going to get their number. In half a millisecond, I said, uh, while my brain rec recording, expect me to say something retarded. Uh, stupid, sorry, part of my language. I said, oh, hey, I know this is random, but I think you guys are really cute. Me and my brother think you're really cute. Can we get your numbers? I'm like, oh, they're smiling, they're smiling. Oh, that caught us so off guard. And then out of nowhere, they just look straight to my friend. Why is your friend recording us? Honestly, we're just about to give you our numbers, but we saw you were recording us, now we're not giving you your number. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Then we come back, the night wasn't over. Like, that was all in one hour. One hour, the biggest adventure ever. So like, yo, let's regroup, let's regroup. We're getting girls' numbers. We're not even downtown or in the party area. We're in the middle of nowhere. The middle of buff fuck nowhere. For those who live in Toronto, we're at Young and Sheps. Young and Shepherd. They're not finding anything there on a min at midnight. Nothing. Except for married Asian girls. No thanks. So, the plan is that was to go downtown Toronto. We're going to be filled with find multiple, multiple girls. And Sosa, when he came back, fell asleep in the washroom. <laughs> and then after he fell asleep in the washroom, he fell asleep on this very floor right over here. And I kept trying to wake him up, and he wouldn't wake up. Story's not over. So I said, you know what? 
I'm not losing $20. The bet was that he had to get their number, but he was dead asleep. So I literally took matters in my own hands and went outside to find two girls to come inside here, a Yu-Gi-Oh card shop, so he could, I could wake him up while they're here and he could physically ask their number and I get $20. <laughs> so that was the plan. So I went on this adventure with my fellow teammate, Razak, go check him out, Abdul. We went outside to go get it. So he's 17 years old, by the way. So I'm trying to teach him the ways of the trick, how to pick up girls. But again, at this time it's 2 a.m. in the middle of nowhere, and we see two random Asian girls. One was hot, one was an absolute definition of a grenade. My favorite, not really. So what we do is we run way ahead of them to the Sharper Drug Mart. The Sharper Drug Mart's closed. They're right near me. So I open the Sharper Drug I try to open the door, I'm like, oh no, Sharper's is closed. Hey, so I run out to them. Hey girls, do you know a uh, Sharper Drug Mart that's open? And then out of all things in the world to say, out of all things in the world to say, I say the words, I'm trying to buy a condo. And I had no idea why I said it. I had no idea why I said it. But they're looking at me like, what the hell? And then this is Toronto. So Toronto's not your average place. Toronto has lots of weird things out here. And I'm just sitting there with my teammate, a 16-year-old boy. So, so then I'm like, this is the most... They, like, I was instantly like, just like, for my girlfriend. With me and my girlfriend. Because this is a Toronto. I don't want to think he's some weird thing. You see some weird-ass people in Toronto. So then they're like, oh, hi, cool, cool. And then for some reason, I thought it was a good idea <laughs> to show them. Come here, stop, stop. Then I, I thought it was a good idea to tell them where we were coming from. What? So I'm like, oh, yeah, we're actually coming from our Yu-Gi-Oh! game shop. We're literally right here. <laughs> and I, I, this could go two ways. They could be like, yo, Yu-Gi-Oh! Or they were Asian. They literally said, oh, you play Yu-Gi-Oh! So we're like, yeah, we're actually two of the best players in the world. And they're like, ha, 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 we dealt that, we dealt that. So what did I do? I will not would you like to see my YouTube? <laughs> so I decided to follow up my YouTube to show them they are the best players in the world. And then when they see my YouTube, they don't see the Yu-Gi-Oh video, they see six weeks of transformation. And they're like, why are you lying? You don't play Yu-Gi-Oh. Because they saw my YouTube, that's not six weeks Anyways, long story short, we're like, come to the shop, we'll show you guys. So like, okay, we'll come. The grenade didn't want to go, how it wanted to go. So as we're going inside the shop, the last second, we're like, wait a second. One girl's hot, but one girl's ugly. If I brought this ugly girl back to Game Nation, everyone's gonna make fun of me. So I'm like, you know what I said? Forget Sosa, he bailed on me, I'm gonna snake him too by just getting the girl's number and not for him. So I decided just to get the hot girl's Instagram. So I'm like, you know what? We're not gonna go, but I said, instead of going back to the car shop, why don't I just get your Instagram and why don't we just chill another time? And she literally said, oh, I knew you guys were lying, I knew you guys don't play Yu Gi Oh! and literally stormed off. True story, I swear to God. And that's how that night turned out. I don't know how, what this has to do with DDs, but <laughs> Yo, yeah. Honestly, yeah, you know, honestly, yeah. girls, downtown Toronto, bro. But, yeah, but me and we Sosa went, decided me, this is the famous Sosa went for <laughs> twenty <laughs> minutes. We came back with three numbers, over. Bro. Me and Sosa were still gonna go get girls' numbers, and he won't <laughs> let me down. I'm gonna win my twenty bucks back. Because yes, maybe I paid twenty dollars, and yes, maybe the person who won my ten dollars ring literally wrote from Steven and said he's never gonna use it ever. This is a trophy, thanks to this guy. But anyways, anyways, on to the video because we came here for how to play with hat traps and not how to play around uh, girls and not trying to get their number. Anyways, Triff pickup coming soon. Okay, featuring Brown Jesus. Featuring Brown Jesus. One of the best pickup artists in the world. Brown Jesus and Pingot, dynamic duo. Anyways. Here's the random hand. We are gonna play through Ash with this hand, and we'll look at that. Four things that are Ashable. I blessed that. I'm Four blessed things. That now, this is a good hand, but it could get cucked by Ash if you don't play it correctly. And you gotta look at two things. You have two turbo cards. You have Pendulum Call, which you have to discard in order to resolve. So you don't wanna show them those lines. Allure of Darkness is really good in uh, Thunder Dragons. This is an Ashable card in Thunder Dragon. If I wasn't Triff, people wouldn't think I'm playing Pendulums. Allure might even get Ash. But what we're gonna do realistically is Shrine. Shrine is getting Ash without a reason, or without question. In fact, we're not even doing that. We're putting Cerberus. Because Cerberus is most definitely getting Ash. Activate Cerberus, that's getting Ash without a doubt. Without a doubt in my mind, that's not even close. This is getting Ash. Cerberus is definitely getting Ash. Cerberus is most definitely getting Ash. And whether Shrine gets Ash, or Cerberus gets Ash, it's the exact same thing. Because if you're playing a normal pendulum build, the only, most of them play, what, three pendulum calls maximum, if that, and Cerberus and Foolish and Shrine. What's the chance of you having both? Cerberus is getting Ash without a doubt. And then we Shrine. Even if Shrine gets Ash, it's going to be the exact same result anyways. And then we Worm. We get Gate Zero. It's going to end up with the same result anyways. 
then we're going to activate Allure. So we played through one ash already. Let's see what we could do through one ash. The goal is still to put as many interruptions as possible. You know what we might even do? You link with 10 interruptions. You link 10 interruptions? Coming soon. Well, as soon as someone requests that on Patreon. Sure. Next, normal summon curtain raiser. We're not going to lure yet. Maybe we're just going to discard the lure, to be honest, because you don't want to draw your cards you want in your deck. So next, we're going to send a very, very beautiful card. This card, everyone should be playing. I didn't play in my previous DDD build, but the second I realized that this is a card, uh, this combo is absolutely nuts and is absolutely mandatory for every single Pedro player to play, no matter what. Zephyr Nui, the secret of the Yang Zing. The secret is, it gives you a free solemn judgment. Literally a free negate. Why on earth would anyone not want to play that? It's beyond me. Next, we're going to activate Electro to pop the Cerberus. Add Curtain Razor. Actually, even darker. It literally does not matter what you add. We'll say Curtain Razor just, be <coughs> just because we could put this in a scale to summon both of these and still summon the Harmonizing out. Draw one. That was the worst draw ever <laughs> because we are literally going to search it right off from this anyways. But honestly, it does not matter. It does not matter because we're still going to resolve the combo. It does not matter whatsoever. So next, we're going to... At this point, we probably could allure, but it's honestly not a big deal. We're going to activate Curtain Razor. We're going to activate Duelist Alliance. We're going to get Pendulum Call. And the next two cards would have... Wow. Wow. The allure would have been these two. So that would have been absolutely nuts. But you don't want to take a risk. You don't want to take a risk of drawing another one of the Divine Strike type of cards. It's fine. It happens. It honestly happens. It's all good. So we're going to get Pendulum Call at this point. We're playing... Like, we played through Ash with this. Like, if we didn't get Ash, it would be even more fire in the opening. Now we're going to pendulum call the allure because you do not want to take the risk. And this is up for you to gate. minutes and 45 seconds. Okay, we're going we're gonna to make this no, 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 a lot faster. Including the story. So okay, true, 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 true. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, a beautiful dude. story, by the way. Thank you, bro. Thank and you. Thank you. at 10%. Oh, yeah, it's exact. So we're going to quick make this really fast. We're going to add uh, harmonizing and purple poison. We're going to actually... Doesn't matter. You just get purple poison, whatever. So harmonizing, purple poison. Where you at, bro? Okay, there we go. Next, we're going to activate this. I run a pendulum summon, the Zephyr Nui, the Dark Worm, the Harmonizing, the Purple Poison. We're going to activate Harmonizing's effect to get Time Gazer, just to say a level 3 for Dragster. And uh, typically you would search now with this, but you, you are Druid, so it's literally dead. It literally might as well have not activated Electrum's draw. Like, literally, <laughs> might as well just not. Uh, well, you, can't, you don't have a choice, it's mandatory, but still. You might as well just not get a plus from that card. You basically what? got impermanence. You basically got impermanence. Yes, you're actually right. So you got so hand trapped twice. We basically got impermanence. You basically just got hand trapped twice. Well, exactly. So next we're going to uh, go into Underclock. Next we're going to go into. Uh, what is One sec. Poison. Let's do some math here real quick. We're going to keep the purple poison in hand because there's no reason to summon it. We're going to just keep it in our hand. There's no reason to summon it whatsoever. Next, we're going to go into Dragster. <laughs> Next, we're going to go into the PK link. And then through an Ash and through an Impermanence, essentially, because literally we lost a card. And if we if the Cerberus was up, we'd have a Jackal. So the Ash effect affected uh, having a, another Jackal on board and having way more plusing. And wait, we didn't normal summon yet either. Uh, no. That's yeah, oh, we did, we did, we did. Yeah, we did. Triff literature. Triff literature. Bro, I got sixty in like all my like high school English classes. Like I'll be horrible at that. Triff French. Triff French. Triff French. Yikes! Yikes! Triff Espanol. Que paso? And that's your hand. We got Ash and essentially a permanent. That's literally two hand traps. We drew a dead card. We drew another dead card in the hand. I believe, like, this is insane. Literally just a random hand, as you guys saw. And because we're running long on the video, because I decided to babble about uh, girl stories, and I was supposed to lost me $20, we're not going to showcase another hand. That was four, four interruptions. We have a dragster, uh, solemn judgment. So we have two spell trap negates and two monster negates, while they have five cards in hand. Five cards in hand. And, like, the Ash hurt. It was on a Cerberus, which people know how much that hurts. And if it was on the shrine, it would have been the same result. In fact, it would have been better if they hit the shrine because we'd have a jackal running around. So literally, we would have ended up on more negates. So here's the deck. We're now going to attempt the, no the attempt number two. Both cards are ashable, but we'll see what we get. So another, another hand, like all hands look like this in the deck, to be honest. So we're going to abduct her. We're going to activate this. This is 1,000% ashable. Would you ash this, Jesse? No. So you would not ash this. That's fine. We're going to search now. We're gonna get Copernicus. 
shrine. Would you ash this? Of course. So that gets ashed. This still gets a counter even though it gets ashed. Next one, activate curtain raiser. Three counters. Uh, we don't even need to normal that. Let's think here if we want to normal. We'll still normal effect. And the fact we'll send Lamia. You guys now see how good this deck is. We just, like, shrine, obviously, like, uh, we could have had a free, two free cards, Worm and Zero, but it's fine. But we didn't even use a Doctor yet at this point. So even if that is second hand trap, you just search, pen, like, you still have crazy, like, this deck's absolutely nuts. We're going to uh, send the Zephyr Nui. Where are you at? Where's Zephyr Nui? Okay. At this point, oh shit. So we normal now. At this point, you have a few options. We're going to have Doctor Search now. Uh, you got lots of options, to be honest. We, you're going to search. Probably a harm. Yeah, we're going to search a harmonizing. Uh, yeah, and next we're going to use Electrum's effect. To pop, this is where you have a few situations, like a few options you could do. Uh, if we pop this, we're going to pop Abductor and add Abductor. So, in the situation that, yeah, in the situation you draw, uh, maybe we should get Chronograph instead, actually. No, we get abducted for sure. So we're going to draw. If we get another Magician or a scale 8, we can still summon the Harmonizing with something like the Cut. But har summoning har Harmonizing is not mandatory. It's just nice. But it's not mandatory at all. Uh, so we're going to draw. Kepler, that's utterly useless. We can't summon it. That's really useless for us. But that's fine. Wisdom. Oof. Okay, Wisdom. Pendulum Summon. Now this is where you gotta be pretty smart, like really smart, because it's easy to misplay in this situation. So we're gonna do. You also want to see how much you want to summon. So uh, we're gonna bring the Lamy out to Synchro Seven with the uh, Zephyr Nui. We're going to use Electrum and one card to Underclock, and then Underclock and then see. We're gonna save the Wisdom Mind Hand. You want to save resources when you can, so we're gonna save the Wisdom Mind Hand. We're gonna add the trap with the Zephyr Nui card. Like, yo, this is getting like through Shroud. Like, that's insane. Like, we got Ash through a great card to Ash. So we get the Divine Strike. We're going to activate Lamia. <coughs> the, setting this to Grave. This is why DDs are fantastic. I highly recommend putting DDs in your deck. Get a free Dragster. And now we're going to with the Abductor and the Electro. Going to Underclock. Underclock Curtain Razor. Get ourselves two traps. And it, just like that, again, we got four negates with Oak harmonizing setup with Wisdom and, and a Kepler. Like, the Kepler was dead to draw. Like, this is insane. Uh, let's just set up the board for you guys to see. And I can happily show you guys more because literally every single Ash, like, this is two Ashes in a row. I'm going to do one more real quick. Uh, and we're going to banish to level three. Boom. And just like that, we have, like, no boards playing through this. And next turn, look how fat your extra deck is. You're literally pendulum summoning from your, like, four next turn. Even if they somehow clear this, Fogblade, bring it back. You still get to summon as much cards as you want. It's an auto win. Four negates through an Ash. And we didn't even, like, it, like if this was literally any other monster in the world. If it was any monster in the world, we had one more rank four on top of it. Uh, through an Ash. On a Shrine. And everyone knows Ash on Shrine hurts a lot. Ash, any pendulum deck. Ash is Shrine, any normal pendulum deck. And they literally, uh, do one negate, one interruption, and they're lucky. Or two at tops. That was four. Three Ash. Trif that was math. quick. Trif Math, baby. One one interruption. Ash and all pendulum deck. Trif Math right here. Ash and all pendulum deck. Two, one or two interruptions. Ash, me. Four or five interruptions. And also, we're doing numbers here. How much percent of a chance of winning for me, bro? 6,000, bro. 6,000% 6, chance of victory. And 0% chance of, of victory for the opponent. Trif Education. Trif Education. Trif Now, we're going to do one Trif more. Grade, if that wasn't enough to prove to you guys that this deck's absolutely insane, we're going to do one more. Would anyone like to cut? Seconds. Sorry? 19 minutes. 19? 19? All right, done. So this is the last one. We're doing a super long video for you guys. I want you guys to see. Like, this is three random hands in a row. We're getting Ash. We're still putting up four or five drops. That's absolutely insane. And so with sub optimal. Like, yeah, the hands are good. So is every hand. 
Oh, well, suboptimal oh, cards. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Ooh, pen god, uh, pen god. Oh, pen gods. Before you finish your Let's do it quick then. Cerberus contract. We're gonna do this quick. Just gets a, a hit. Gets the thing. Oh, so broken. this has good. Ravina pendulum call could easily get Ash, but so are these. So clearly you're gonna bait them with these cards. So Cerberus. Every single person on the planet is ashing that. Ash, no problem. Well, I actually contract first in hopes that they ash this. If they don't ash this, we're good. And again, a quick way to make them ash it is like, you go in your, go in your deck super quick. Give them a chance to respond, but be like, contract? Oh, my bad, response. Like, as you're super quickly, like, contract? Oh, my bad, response. Like, try to bait them into doing it. It's super easy to table talk and bait your opponent to ash it. Make it seem like you really want to get a contract search. If they still do it, be like, okay, sick. So if they don't ash it, be like, like, oh, fuck, that was my bait. Be like that. If they don't ash it, be like, oh, fuck, that was my bait. And then you go into your second bait. You see how, like, little stuff like that makes all the difference? So we're going to get Copernicus. Trip and then, genius. And exactly. Trip genius. Facts. Uh, maybe, yeah, Copernicus. If you get Kepler, so Kepler... The style should be Kepler into contract into Copernicus or contract into Copernicus. Makes sense? Into Lamia. And then you're gonna go into Cerberus, but like effect. Oh, ha ha, Ash. You know, like like that, like you can beat, bait them easy like that. So after he does like, fuck, that was my bait. And then, but then, they, exactly. Then they don't know that the real bait is like, the real something they don't want Ash is the cards I have to get discarded for. So that just got Ash. So now we're going to Dragon Ravine. Actually, you know what? Even, it's not Copernicus. We're gonna get Lamia. Like, who needs a Copernicus? <laughs> And that's the card we're gonna discard. Like, God, like that's why contracts are sick because DDs give you a free. Fo like, if you open a contract, you literally get free discard fodder in Lamia. It's insane. So Ravine discard Lamia. Uh, they already hit the Ash with that, so you got a free Dark Worm and a free Gate Zero. They should seriously make an archetype for Trip Gaming, bro. <laughs> Trip Gaming archetype coming soon. Maybe I'll do a fake one on Dueling Shout because you can do it. Shout out to the free trip so they can make them. Like, facts, archetype, bro. facts, absolute facts right there, boys. Absolute facts right there. And next, we're going to uh, Pendulum Call Gate Zero, get ourselves something to Normal Summon. We're going to add a Harmonizing in hand, and we're going to get a Low Scale in hand as well. So we'll get like Purple Poison, uh, just in case we don't draw High Scale, Black uh, yes. I feel like the archetype would be Divine. <laughs> divine. That's hilarious. Normal Poison, go Electrum. Uh, this is an Ash video. Like before the hand started, I told you I was facing Ash. Next year, I'll do Draw. Next year, I'll do Ogre. Literally everything. Uh, just to showcase you guys. So now we're going to send Zephyr Nui, the same combo. Exact same combo. It's like board ends on 4 find interruptions all the time. Now we're going to uh, use Electro Effect to pop the Cerberus, add the Poison. Oh, we literally added, sent the Trap. That's hilarious. I sent the Trap to the extra deck by accident. So now we're going to uh, draw from Electro by popping Cerberus. We're gonna try anything. Any monster to summon will be nice, but it doesn't matter. Uh, anything desires nice. That's part of the, like, actually we're not even gonna desires because you could get rid of your traps. So they're negates on itself. So we're really gonna save this for, for the very end. Your hand's good enough. You don't really need it. Actually, drags through. This is really okay. So we're gonna. You don't want to risk getting rid of everything else. So you gotta play smart. If we had any literally any other monster on the entire planet to bring out, we had dragster, jackal, and three negates through the ash. Uh, and have a, a desire which you're gonna use, but you don't want to get rid of all your stuff. Like your tra getting rid of your traps is absolutely so sad because they're free cards you're losing out on. So you don't want to do that. So we add the Zephyr Divine Strike. We act, uh, we can activate Lamy here to get a Synchro Seven off this, but the Jackal will be gone. So that's the sad part. But you know what? It's okay. You want to drag for sure, for sure. So Jackal unfortunately has to go to ensure that you don't bounce the traps because you'd rather take the risk. Because uh, if you banish any of the PKs, you can't resolve that combo. So we're going to, you always want to, uh, you always, no matter what, want to end on a, 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 a spell trap negate over monster negate. And that's fine. Then we're just going to underclock. Like literally, if we drew any other monster, we, instead of the desires, we had uh, another thing on top. But that's totally fine. Underclock. You don't want to take the risk of banishing your PK cards. So it's just a smarter play. Like we're even playing through other stuff here. Like this, you guys see what I'm talking about here? Like Ash does nothing. Other hand traps do nothing as well. Uh, I'll show you guys how to play around the other hand traps. Like we're playing, like I'll show you guys how to play around the other hand traps in another video. But just for the sake of this one, like it's absolutely nothing. So again, we get the traps, banish, activate desires, cut. Doesn't literally doesn't matter what we draw. Uh, we're just uh, gonna have it in hand for a follow for a follow up. So banish. I float on water, bro. I float on cards too. Bro. <laughs> draw two, so it's like a lure Cerberus. It's whatever, and we set three and call it game. Like that's literally. Your opponent, when well, we banish, when you banish the dice, is relevant after you after you do that. And boom, four negates, 
and you have a great follow-up and your pendulum summoning jackals next turn with poison like it's absolutely insane so now you guys understand what i'm talking about the deck's absolutely nuts through an ash bro like i recommend contracts for that and overall you play so many cards that can get ash and it's unbelievably easy to bait same with ogre so many cards can get bait guy like bait people with ogre with ravine they always ogre ravine if they can and my electrum will resolve with ogre like it permanence everything if electrum against permanence who cares like it doesn't matter you just ensure before you electrum always have scales in hand so that's the deck. The deck plays around high jump easily, especially Ash. Next video is I'm going to showcase you guys how to play around Bell, Droll, Ogre, Gamma, everything. So hope you guys like this video. Shout out to shout out to Cooper Crunch for requesting PDs. This is the third video I requested. I, I told you I'll make for you. Sorry for the long wait. And another note, he did ask me to make Cyber Darks uh, Pendulums, but that was another mission. I am the Pen God, but I'm not like, like, actually, I am the Pen God, but bro, like, it's just so difficult. Cyber Darks literally suck so badly. Cyber Dark Pendulums are not a thing. You literally you play Pendulums, good Pendulum cards, and you drop uh, Cyber Dark Garnets. It's literally useless. But that was the video. Hope you guys like it. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out the links in the description below. See you guys in the next video. Peace.